The rewards in this Dragon Tournament that just launched is not that impressive, but players will be spending the next two days using champions from the Dark Elves faction to beat the Dragon. If you're going to participate in this tournament, check out some of my builds and some of the champions I'm using to beat this faction in a reasonable time to get this joke of a reward that Playroom has given off before the main event, which is the Fusion, begins. Now, if you've already beaten the Dark Elf faction, this event might be easy for you. And like we all know, mid-game players and early-game players are all trying to beat Dragon 20 in this event. They're not trying to beat Dragon 25 or 24. I can do 24 with other teams, but on this particular event, I'll be running Dragon 20. If you cannot beat Dragon 20, there is nothing wrong with doing Dragon 14, 15 and less, just to get those rewards but in my opinion if you can't beat dragon 20 this event is not worth your energy you should put your normal team and fight the dragon what am i trying to say if you need to regear some champions just for this event don't do it but if you want to use it because it's faction wars you use them for faction wars then that's a good reason to do it i already had my physics right here i already have um xavier that i put a long time ago and vizier these are the only three legendary champions i have the most important of them all in this three combo is Xavier because the Dragon 20 is weak against the force and she can place that poison and also explode the poison which does a lot of damage to the dragon. You know, the Dragon 20 is not yet nerfed in terms of Xavier's ability to explode all the poisons that she places on him. So that's a good one. Vizier doesn't really do much here except for the waves when Xavier places the poison he extends the poison to other people so instead of getting two poisons there some of them they get four poisons or maybe a decreased speed or other debuffs that is on the other persons so Vizix, i hated this champion for a long time i don't know why i just hated this champion not just because she's a free legendary but because when i put her in my team for faction wars she was the first to die you're a protector, you're doing provoke, you're putting shield on yourself, you're doing turn meter control, you're decreasing their speed, but you die the first as in, I guess when you put ally protect on everybody and then they take damage, you take all the damage. So I put defense chest on her, defense, you, you check out my artifacts that I put on her and you see, I don't know why she keeps dying, she, although I've not put her to level 60 yet. A champion that cannot survive in 50, I don't really see the need to put her to 60 yet, so she's a media card champion for me but she's op i've seen a lot of people use her in a, a lot of places but she has not just worked with my gear that i have crimson helm the champion that recently helped us beat boomer on you know the easy um the normal boomer in the um, doom tower i already built him to six star and he's working for me right now that crimson helm and Captain Timila, I don't know when I build this champion, but I have that champion. And who else? Lua, I built this one a long time ago for Spider. Sila, I do have her. She will be a lot of help for people who already built her up for turn meter control because you don't let those hoddings take multiple turns, Elder just nuke you down. The problem with this faction is I do not have revivers. So somebody who has ray will be nuking i'm trying to see who is the reviver lydia is a support she is gotten from the faction wars they don't have a reviver as and i don't see any revivers right here lanakis does she revive i think so increase rate yes she she no this is an attack she doesn't revive also so this faction does not have any revivers they'll probably be in the epic category i guess madame series op i do not have that champion yet maybe my eyes are blind or something do you see any revivers in this faction i'm not trying to look at all their skills but from the one i know i don't see any revivers so that means blind seer oh there she is 
and this is a legendary champion so i know a lot of people will not have this champion so your champions will die a lot in the dragon if with, without a reviver or a provoked champion who can stay alive that's where physics comes in for me she takes all the damage and my lure and cold heart other people can survive if you bring a cold heart into this um dragon 20 i guarantee you cold heart will not last up to turn unless you have a lot of control in the wave so i refuse to put my cold heart in this dragon 20 team because she's just too weak painkeeper is already built for my um unkillable team so yes i do have painkeeper for that heals and also re what what does okay it's crimson hell that does revive on death so i have painkeepers so you have an option between painkeeper crimson helm and captain Tamila as that um support champion that you need so let's see my team i don't know which one you can choose from all that dark elves faction but i personally was able to come up with this team that works in a reasonable time we'll do one run and see how they work so let's do a quick run i'll have my super rates turned on this is what will actually help you complete this um um, tournament really really quick so even if you're running 15 or 14 with super rates on you still complete it quick but the rewards are trash like i already told you so i'm using captain timila no crimson helm and um painkeeper captain timila can also take the place of one of them vizier is an option but i'm using him too because he's really really strong he has a lot of crit and crit damage built just for the clan boss let's see how this run goes the first one is decrease speed did they fix xavier i don't know if you saw i did not set xavier to do her a2 first xavier usually comes into this dragon and does the a3 trying to you know explode poison that do not exist so i usually go into the um control and set her to do her a2 first but i was surprised she does it right this time as for vizier he's gonna use his a3 and extend boom so they all have an additional um, poison on them right now she's gonna do her revive on death that is really not needed Painkeeper does A1 instead of A2 because she knows nobody has low health right now, which is smart. Provoke, which is really not needed right now. Yes, it is needed because they were about to take a turn. Poison explosion. Now my Xavier is not built with a lot of a lot of attack. You see when I show you the um builds. I built her for faction wars. I mean for dragon. No 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 no. I built her for clan boss a long time ago she was my poison for clan boss before for some affinities and she even still have a defensive chest or defensive um, ring till date i need to change up that build and give her attack for her to explode all this because it, it's quite embarrassing for to see a xavier that cannot kill the entire waves in one go especially for dragon 20. so i'm not gonna regear my xavier just because of dragon 20 that's what i'm saying when i need to push faction wars for that faction i will regret it but right not right now and before i close out the video i also check out my faction wars for these dark elves and see how much level they are going okay let's put it on auto that's why i have pain keeper right there because of that skill reset Xavier has a poison back up. I don't think so. Provoke again. That's what I hate when she explodes when there is no poison. So yeah, Vizix is not that bad. Because without Vizix doing this provoke, without somebody doing this provoke, you'll be in a lot of trouble. So this is where Vizix might go down. You can see how much damage Vizix is taking. I do not have her in lifesteal. I have her in regeneration set. Why? Because somebody said <laughs> she's literally unkillable when she has regeneration set. But for lifesteal, because she doesn't do a lot of damage, 
it might be difficult for her to heal back from the amount of um, HP that she's lost. So lifesteal might not be the best for your physics because especially for faction wars where I built her for regeneration she just gives her the HP back. So now we, we, they are still all alive, but if Vizis places her ally protect right now, I guarantee you she's gonna die. There you go. You see? Ally protect. Check out the dragon hit now. Woo! Ally protect will fall off before the dragon takes a turn. Oh, she's lucky. You see what I mean? Three people, ally protect, and see how much health she lost. So she is the first that usually goes down to this team. Death and um, revive on death has been placed. Vizier is extending poison that um, Xavier is just gonna explode one time. See what? That's where I need Xavier for. So she's not that bad for taking down the dragon with that hit. But for the waves, I might need to rebuild her to do it faster. So that's a four minutes run. I've seen it being done in three minutes also so it's a ton that varies i'll run this overnight and by the morning i'm sure that i've hit the 2000 points required for that tournament let's go ahead and look at my team and see how they are built if you want to use some of this or use an alternate part of this the first person i talked about is xavier who i said is not built well this is a clan boss build but if i review this build it might be better so i do have uh, to survive with some attack also there crit rate crit rates crit damage crit rate attack chest so yes i did replace this chest i remember i replaced the chest but it still has a defensive substat defensive substat now this is what i need to change i need to change this to attack also so xavia explodes the more poison and more attack she has the more damage she can do i guess so i need to put that to and then i need to do this to crit damage so my crit damage is a little bit high because of the glove but if i do it to this to crit damage then i don't think any of those level 20 dragon waves will survive a a tree what do i have here accuracy of course she needs it to place the poison so 210 poisons i also use xavier for my dragon 24 or 25 team her total stats, if we check it out, is 40k HP. 4,007. That's not that low. I thought she was like 3,000 attack. But 4,007 is, is a reasonable amount of attack for an attack-based champion. 179 speed is quite low. It should be about 200. Crit rate is not even 100%. But crit damage is really, really high for my build, I think. Accuracy 231 is now up to 250. And what do we have for our masteries? You know, this is a, a new card type of mastery. Come in here to select the increased on first hit because of that first hit she does to the wave. And increase her speed when she kills them. And of course, since she's a three hitter, I went for the giant slayer. This has a chance to increase the duration of the poisons that she lands. And what else? Yeah, okay, this is increases the chance of placing the poison. This increases their their time of the debuff. Why this reduces turn meter. So that's my Xavier build. Who else do I need for this run? This is also a clan boss build for Vizier. I don't know a lot of people do not have these legendaries, but they are needed to run this thing smoothly. Chests, defense, crit damage, defense. <laughs> I'm running defense boots on my vizier. That shows you how much speed he already has in his artifacts. So he doesn't really need much speed anywhere else. This is HP, attack, accuracy. For a total stats of 38k. 35 defense 175 speed which is just perfect for the clan boss run that i use him in for extending the 
um, poison and other debuffs on the clam on the i mean yes the clam boss um accuracy 257 which is just perfect for clam boss also so he comes in to help do his work you've already seen the mastery nothing special he comes down to this one which does a counter attack and also a three hitter also typical clan boss build now if you do not have that control you need for the waves that you get from a physics doing a provoke a lua will serve that purpose and for this build i had mine in a stun set this is a very old build i used for the spider and also for the um, fire knight waves to also control them with her stun or little turn meter that she does so that's my lua i do not use her for my dragon 20 although she can replace one of the um, champions to provide more control through the stone i have her in a lot of hp shows she's not targeted for the fire knight and for the spider runs for a total start of 46 2k defense kind of low high crit rate not enough crit damage like i said this is a really old build and i have not revised it since i didn't even finish her masteries the next champion that is good for this dragon 20 runs that i have on my list at least that may be of help to you crimson helm the person who put it all together with her revive on death provoke her this a provoke is safe it doesn't hit a lot that's why physics provoke is more trusted than um, crimson helms provoke so i don't know if it's because i don't have her in a lot of um what do you call it accuracy maybe that's why provoke is not landing a lot but i do have a build just for the boomer boss so that means her speed is not really really high also because this is the amount of speed i need just for the boomer with a lot of high hp that's why she does not die but physics dies so if i want to build her for this it will, her stats has to go up especially the speed and some defense also painkeeper if you already have a unkillable team then you know what your painkeeper is built with mine is in a life steal so she doesn't get targeted and she always brings the heals to other people in the team for the clan boss i think your pinky power has to be 220 for that unkillable team budget unkillable team i have a video about how i built mine and how it does two key ultra nightmare if you want to check out that video on my playlist that's my pain keeper um like i said my cold heart is not built for um dungeon runs she's built for the fire knight and she doesn't die i don't know why she cannot survive in the dragon but she survives in the fire knight what kind of logic is that hp crit damage so she's built to do damage i have not revised my cold heart to work with dragon 24 25 because i do not need really really fast runs there i just run it overnight um so my my champions are not built to do a lot of speedy runs but they are built to survive the run so i don't end up wasting my energy as a free to play once it's seven speed is kind of low so she doesn't go fast to turn but her crit damage is high at least i focused on that 34k low hp 1.6 low um, attack low attack 2k accuracy 229 high enough for the dungeon runs at least total stats that's it and uh, masteries your standard nuka mastery with coming over here to flawless execution for that extra 20 percent crit damage because i want her to do her nuke for the fire knight i still run fire knight 20 so that's where i use her the most and maybe the spider i do spider with bonds i kind of finish the spider with hp bonds not really a cold heart but she also works in my spider sometimes is there anybody else we are missing the person i hated the most that i was talking shit about physics no, no that's why she's not doing a lot for my team no masteries 
no tier six masteries either so this is our build i currently have her just to have enough um, accuracy to place that provoke i built her for faction wars i didn't build her for dungeons if i was building her for dungeons maybe i wouldn't have gone for this um artifact set i don't know something to mitigate her damage so she doesn't take a lot of damage something like a, rel a relentless will work good on her um, not a stun set i'm thinking of what else i can put on her to stalwart this is also a good set for my physics but we are not rebuilding her today immortal is also a good set for her because she needs to survive all that heat that is coming to her so i think these three sets are good for her life still i still don't think it's a perfect one because she doesn't do a lot of hits or a lot of damage to heal back so defense defense boots more defense it's not even maxed yet because i'm waiting for the next event to do it and no tier six for a total start of 29k that's why she's always dying <laughs> not even up to 35k even my cold heart has more hp than her so i'm sorry for talking shit about physics but i need to rebuild her for even for her to even help me do a little bit better but hey i pumped up the speed so she can place that provoke a lot in this um, dungeon runs master is nothing yet why i didn't like what she's doing because her provoke lands for two turns right no, it's for one turn. I was comparing Vizix to this other champion that also does similar provoke. Because I have a molly, right? And I know a molly keeps my team alive. If my molly is in the team, nobody goes down. So I'm kind of comparing. There are two. They are both legendaries. But one is free. One is, you know, not free. So maybe a molly is kind of hard to get. That's why she... Let me just check her base stats base defense one four six five i'll need to check physics base defense here let me just compare both their stats and see why physics is so weak and why molly is so tanky maybe that will help me understand why my physics is so weak at 50. dark elves so our defense is 1476 and 17k HP. 1476. Why Molly from the dwarves? I know this is not a comparison video, but I need to understand what's going on with physics. And she's a free champion that a lot of people will already have for their teams in this 18k HP. So Molly obviously has more HP, but she has more defense than Molly. So I guess that explains it why molly is so tanky and physics is so weak anyway guys to end up this video you've seen my runs you've seen my artifact builds for the dark elves and the champions you're using i'm using let me know what teams you came up with to beat this dragon 20 i don't think anybody else is running 25 except end game champion end game legendary um, champion users i currently have rule the huntsman but i have not collected him yet is still in my fragment um place where i'm supposed to fuse him and get him i do have him right there i have not picked him up yet because i don't need him yet because if i picked him up i would have used him in this this thing but he's currently chilling right here where is he rule huntsman so i have not picked him up yet so if you have picked him up you can use him in this um you know event also what teams are you running are really really eager to know now Ray just come up with a lot of news about some buffs and some champions that are being buffed and some champions that have been one champion that is being nerfed and if you're asking my opinion on it i currently don't have the champions so and for the other champions that are being buffed i don't think it's a reasonable amount of um buff for those champions for them to become useful in our teams so this news is just going to slide like you know under the carpet and nobody will pay attention to it because it's nothing special except you have this champion that is nerfed and then i know you're pissed about it personally i don't care that's how i feel about it i'm waiting for the fusion to start so we can start spending 
uh, saved resources and careful i will not be using my energy saved up energy for these dragon runs i'll be using only energy that is you know being naturally generated from you know dailies and from quests especially this my dailies i'll use it here and also i have one here right here that's all i'll use for this dragon i will not try to use my saved up energy that's all for this video let me know what teams you're really building to beat this dragon and let's enjoy this super raid and finish up this tournament that doesn't have good rewards for us while we wait for the main event i'll see you guys in the next video please like and subscribe to my channel i'm posting daily on weekdays and peace out